like I said, you got a you got a big fight coming up June thirteenth. Yes, I um, do. Yes, I do. You got some bad blood with the the dude you're fighting, Marvin. Yeah. Um, I know you guys got into it a little bit after yeah. the last fight fell through. Yeah. Want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, he did some did some bitch shit, as I would say. He did some it. bitch shit, as I would say. Uh, came from the hospital like six, seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, stayed in my room till like I guess ten, and then got a plane back home. As I'm leaving my room, me and my coach and my boy and my cousin Ty walk out, go to the left, see his nutritionist. Okay, that's weird. Don't think nothing of it. We walk past, turn right, and see Claudia. Talk to Claudia. She with the team and everything. Say hi and everything. Get on the elevator. She starts to get on the elevator with us. He grabs her like, nah, don't get on that elevator. Go on a different elevator. All right. Second weird thing. Yeah. All right. So we go down. As we go down, come off the elevator, hit the left. We see Marvin. Marvin's pacing back and forth in the foyer with a coffee in his hand. Okay. He's been here for a while. Got fuck coffee in your hand. So we just walk past. It is what it is. I'm not really acknowledging it. So he approaches me and the team. Yeah, yeah, what happened? I'm going to explain to me, bro. I passed out. My bad it is what it is. Had to be hospitalized. They called the fight. Oh, da 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 That's messed up. Yeah, it's messed up. Me, I'm a fighter, so I'm going to ask you face to face. You called the media while I was in the ambulance saying, oh, I was scared to fight you. Yeah, I did. Da -da -da. I'm like, well, that's a bitch move because you knew I was in the ambulance. This is where it got weird. So, as we having this conversation, looks over to the elevator, goes back, has his coffee, goes to the other side of the wall, puts his coffee down. As his friends come out the elevator, he just starts yelling. Oh, you want to fight me? Da -da -da -da, this, this, and that. First off, I'm going to put this, I don't respect the kid. I don't respect nobody who, one, he's already got popped for steroids. So, he already, right. he already, you already got bitch in your blood. So, you can't question another man who's... You can't question no fighter who's doing this the right way, and you got to stick a needle in your ass to keep going. So I'm getting so hyped yeah. up right now. Stick <laughs> <laughs> a needle in the ass, so it is what it is. Like me, I don't yell, I don't holler. I'm not from that. I'm not from that type of that type of environment. That's not how I was raised. If you really want beef, you're quiet. If you really want to fight, I'm not going to yell at you to fight you. I'm going to just come at you and punch you in your shit. And then <laughs> it is what it is from there. How you take yes, it is how you take it. Yes, and sir. the fact that he acted like that and then had like a five four concierge at the hotel holding him fucking back. Yeah. It makes him look stupid. And then I got all these other Italians in my DM saying, oh, this, this, and this for our country. This is who y'all want to represent y'all country? This type juice of guy? Head. Yeah, the juice head with these other guys that I respect more coming out there. Like, don't let don't let this the talking fool you. Like, I like to fight, and we're going to be in a smaller cage now. So, like I said, keep that same energy because I always keep the same energy. It's a fight now. So, Hayden told me a little bit about it, but... Kind of backstory for maybe some of our friends who are watching this who don't know what we're talking about. You went to the hospital because uh, I had um, you were supposed to fight him. Yeah, I was supposed to fight him, but um, I had dehydration rhabdo. Rhabdo is when your kidney starts to shut down and your neurons in your brain start to uh, dehydration sh like get shortened. Everything just went off. Like I hardly couldn't even spell my last name That's what, yeah, or that's walk. What Sucking weight. Yeah, like cutting all the weight out. I couldn't say my last name. I couldn't speak. I couldn't walk. Like I started passing out, started walking like I was drunk. My legs started giving out. So when my eyes started twitching, I stopped being able to control my eyes. That's when he knew something was wrong. And he yeah. called my manager, whose wife is a nurse. And she was like, uh, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> and then shout out to the UFC because they did their thing. Dr. D came, looked at me. He was like, bro, how long have you been sitting like this? I was sitting out there just in the daze, eyes half shut, like not talking, sitting in the dark. He said, how long have you been sitting like this? for like a good 30, 45 minutes to see if it'll go away. Cause you know, fighters, we don't know our own good. We'll push till we got it, until we die. So my coach was like, nah. And the doctor D was like, yeah, we got to send you to the hospital make everything sure everything's okay. And make sure you don't die. Cause at the end of the day, that's, Fuck yeah. it's, it's, risk, it's risky. So Was that after the weigh-in? Yeah, so no, you, yeah, that was all after the weigh-in. After the weigh-in, so I was- You were trying to hydrate and it was just not- Yeah, my body was just, just not taking it. Like I was still, 200 pounds of that. Like, I barely gained any weight. And the doctor was like, this this happening a lot, but at the end of the day, what's more important, your life for the fight. Right. So right. at this point, you got to start thinking of my family and everything. Like, all right, sit back, restart, go back, go back to the book, see where I went wrong, see what my body needs. And that's what we did. We got the right people in, right people came and helped me out. Now I'm feeling much better. I feel good now. Yeah. Yeah. Percentage wise, you 100%? I'm like 95, 96, 95. yeah.